Hey, I'm Cameron McKenzie, and I want to show you a quick example of how to run Apache with Docker and get your websites hosted locally quickly. Now, here's a spoiler. The answer to the question is actually those commands that are on the screen right now. But if you stick around, I'll show you how to use them. So here's the absolute easiest way to run your website on the Apache HTTPD Docker containers. You can see I got a folder here called website and my website is in it. You can see index.html there, which plays a nice little number guesser game if you start playing around with it. But you can see that that's being hosted locally on my file system. You can see the reference to the C drive right there. I don't want that. I want to actually use the official HTTPD Apache server image from Docker. Now, how do I do that? Well, you know, one problem is we don't have any Docker images locally. So that HTTPD image, it's up on Docker Hub, but it's not here on my local machine. And of course, I don't have any containers running it either. So I need to get that container from Docker Hub onto my local machine and have it run my website. Now you can see I'm running all these commands from temp number guesser and this folder contains that subfolder called website. It's the folder structure that you saw over here just a, a moment ago. And I'm just going to make sure that Docker's installed. This is really the first prerequisite. And you can see I've got version 20 installed. Now, of course, the fact that I'm running Docker desktop for Windows was a big hint as well. Um, but we've got Docker installed. So let's actually run our website in a Docker container using the Apache HTTPD image. Well, here's how you do it. You say, Docker, I want to actually run that image in a container. Um, you use the dash d dash to run as a background daemon process. And I also like adding in the dash dash rm tag. You'll need this as well, which automatically removes a container when it exists. And of course, when you create a container, it's a good idea to give it a friendly name. I'll call it my Apache example 01, because who knows, I may run more than one. And those are some of the basics. The next thing you need to do is do a port mapping. Now, when this Apache HTTPD server runs, it uses port 80 internally, but Docker will block all internal ports unless they're explicitly exposed. So I have to say to Docker, let's do a port mapping. I want port 80 on my local machine to map to port 80 on the local container, internally on the container. And now if I do that, then I'll be able to use port 80 for Apache. By the way, it's the first number that is your machine. So if you wanted to use port 88 on your machine because you had a port conflict on 80, you could do 88 colon 80. I'm sure that Eric Lindros would like that type of mapping as well. Now, if you know anything about Apache, you will know that Apache serves up files from its htdocs folder. And this Apache Docker image has an internal htdocs folder where it'll serve images up from, but we do not want that. Instead, we want to serve files up from this website folder here, index script style. Now I'm running the command from this number guesser directory. That's the present working directory of this command. You can see that right there. Um, and it's this subfolder website from the present working directory that I want files to be served up from, not internally from the internal htdocs folder. So what you have to do is you have to actually say, hey, I want to do a volume mapping. That's the dash V there. And I want to take the present working directory and specifically that websites folder that is website folder that is under the present working directory. And I want to use that instead of the htdocs folder inside of the container. Now, you have to give this specific path to the container, which is user local Apache to htdocs. Now, by the way, I'm using curly braces here. That's because I'm on Windows. If you're using Unix or Ubuntu, you may have to use round brackets there. So just be aware of that. But this does the mapping. This now says, hey, instead of using htdocs internally, I want Docker to serve up files from this folder. Now, what's gonna be serving up these files? Well, the last thing you gotta do is actually gotta provide the name of the image. The image is HTTPD. You gotta say, I want the HTTPD image to do all of these things. And once you're done, check your spelling, make sure you've got it all right. 
click the enter key and boom, all of a sudden it says, hey, I can't find this HTTPD image locally. And of course it can't because it's up here on Docker Hub, but you'll know that, well, Docker doesn't give up. It goes looking for it. Now, if I look at the list of images here up in my Docker desktop for Windows, you can see HTTPD has been downloaded and a container is running on port 80 that is specifically running my Apache web server from the Docker container. Now, the next question is, does it actually work? So let's go over here and type in localhost and go to port 80. And you can type in port 80, but that's the default, so you, but you don't need to. And look at that. All of a sudden, my application is now running up there on the server port 80 on my local machine and by the way the other cool thing about docker is that you can you know you can potentially run multiple instances so maybe if i want to use version 2 run it on port uh, 82 and look i made a mistake there you've got to make sure your local ports are first and the uh, other port is second and maybe i want to use version 2.4 all of a sudden it will download version 2.4 and host this application in that version. So I'm actually running the Apache HTTPD Docker container on two ports. Let's see if this application works on a backwards compatible version. We'll go to localhost 82 and boom, all of a sudden we are now running on localhost 82 as well. And so as you can see, we've actually got couple of different Docker containers running. And we've actually got a couple of different Docker HTTPD images downloaded, all of which are running locally on my machine. And they're all using this shared folder here, this shared Docker volume, you could say, with all of my files in it. And that's how easy it is to deploy your website to the Apache Docker HTTPD image and run it as a container on your local file system. And there you go. That's a quick example of how easy it is to run the Apache HTTP Docker image in a container on your local file system. Now, if you enjoyed that tutorial, why don't you head over to theserverside.com. I'm the editor-in-chief over there. We've got lots of great tutorials on Apache software, Docker, Kubernetes, DevOps tools, Java, and you name it. If you're interested in my personal antics, you can always follow me on Twitter at Cameron MCNZ. And please subscribe on the YouTube.